Tonight, a warning to all homeowners as certain pipe builders are using inside homes is coming under fire by the people who know best professional plumbers. Yeah, plumbers are warning you to know what is inside your walls, no matter how old or how new your home is. Consumer reporter Erica Washington joins us now live. And Erica, what kind of pipe are we talking about? It's pretty common, right? That is right, Lisa. This is the pipe we're talking about. It is called CPVC, and I can tell you it's plastic with glued joints. Plumbers tell me that these are a ticking time bomb. It's not a matter of if a leak will occur, but when. The material is no good. Bernice Dockery is referring to the CPVC pipes behind her walls installed 14 years ago. See that? See all of that there? The leaky pipe in the ceiling stems from her bathroom into the bedroom. When a pipe goes in a home, it's supposed to last. Chris, CPVC pipes don't last. Over a period of time, it gets it gets brittle and it cracks and it breaks and the glue joints they continue to deteriorate through the pipe and and they go bad what's also bad for cpvc pipes plumbers point to chlorine in the water and florida's heat is that common with pipes with cpvc yeah it's a very common thing cpvc is one of the ones that we see on a regular basis in fact 40 percent of homes repiped by rinaldi home services had cpvc pipes Liam Cuddy's company does 12 to 15 repipes a week and says the same thing. It's a product we know is failing. The manufacturer knows is failing. Plumbers tell us the manufacturer even cut CPVC's warranty from 25 years down to 10, and that only covers the pipes, not any damage. Now, that was a red flag for Kevin Jones, who had his home repiped, but says he was forced by his insurance company to use CPVC pipes. I think people should have that choice, and I can't understand why insurance companies are dictating what homeowners have to put in their home. Uh, you know, in my heart and soul, I know that they're going to have a problem. Those problems can range from turning off the valve in the back of the toilet and having it snap off in the wall, or hitting the pipe accidentally when you're putting items under or cleaning and it snaps off. Competitors really adamant about not using CPVC. Not at all. It's still written in the plumbing code book that we can use it. But Bernice wishes she didn't use CPVC. Very angry. Very, very angry. Now, one of the reasons that CPVC is so popular, we're told, is that it is a little cheaper and easier to install. And I can tell you that a lot of home builders are using that today. So, Erica, what is a better option? Okay, well, Lisa, I don't want to say better, but I'll say another option because better really depends on the plumber and who you speak to. But I can tell you that both Chris and Liam prefer to use PEX. They say it's, it's, uh, it's actually less rigid and uh, less brittle than CPVC. And also, PEX has a 25-year warranty, unlike... Uh, CPVC, and if there is a leak and there's damage, PEX actually covers all of that, so you can go, th so you don't have to go through your homeowner's insurance. Well, a very interesting story, and it's going to have a lot of people wondering what sort of pipes are behind their walls. Erica Washington reporting live tonight. Thank you.